Welcome back everyone to Let's Talk About Sleep, your favorite channel and mine. Here's a link, or here's the book. The link to this book is in the description box down below, the Amazon link. So be sure to get that. Uh, as we get closer to a thousand subscribers, once we get there, one lucky viewer at random will get a signed copy of Let's Talk About Sleep. So got to be into it, so just make sure you subscribe. I'm going to say this, but it uh, doesn't really apply to today. These videos are for education only, medical education only. But today, we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. So our last video was kind of a morbid subject, but this time it's going to be a little bit lighter. <clears throat> now, one question I've been getting asked uh, recently, because as a second book is coming to fruition now, people have asked me, well, how do you write a book? How do you, how do you, how do, you do it? And... Uh, the advice I'm going to give, it's kind of, some of it's going to sound very trite, some of it's going to sound a little bizarre, but this this is what this is what worked for me, okay? So the first thing I would say, and this goes really for, this is kind of my rule in life, is if you're going to do something, do it. Don't talk about it. Do it, right? So what I mean by that is if you have a great idea to write a book, good stuff, write it. Get it on paper, you know, even if it's garbage. The first, the first, you know, 10 drafts are not good. Doesn't matter. Get it out. Get it done. You know, uh, you know, I think, I think uh, my pre prior book was, I think, about 40,000 words. This book that's coming up will be about 50,000, 40 to 50,000. The idea, though, is to get it done, right? Even if it's not perfect, get it done. Because, and this is, this is where a little bit where the, uh, I guess, bizarreness comes into play. Although it's not really that bizarre, but I, I am a big believer in uh, when you put the effort into whatever it is you're doing, doors open up for you, and the universe kind of takes care of you. Universe, God, whatever you believe in will take care of you, but the effort has to be there, right? So instead of just talking about it, when you actually do it, you notice, oh, you know, opportunities arise. And I'll just give a little background on my first book plug it again how it came to be I had I had wanted to write a book for years um, even when I was back in residency we're going back like 10 15 years now and uh, and I started writing it nights weekends you know whenever I had time a little bit here a little bit there and uh, probably was about I don't know six or seven years of just <clears throat> you know writing it here and there when I started to get really serious about it, I said, you know what, I really want to see if I can make this come to come to be. So I started really kind of honing in on it and uh, you know, spending a lot of my free time writing it. And almost like magic, one day, uh, one of my patients goes to me, you know, Dr. Barone, you should write a book. So it's funny you say that. I have about 30,000 words written down. I mean, a lot of it wasn't used, but the point was I had a lot, I had a lot of stuff written down. So he goes, well, let me let me put you in touch with my friend who's a who's an author who works with doctors and you know I might be able to work something out with you. Who's Larry, my my co-author, and uh, from there you know we we able to get our ideas together and then uh, and then we got an agent and then she she uh, you know shopped us around. We found Roman and Littlefield who was actually going to be the publisher for my second book. So <clears throat> the point is, while none of this is really scientific, the idea behind it is that. You know, you kind of do your thing, put yourself out there, and then the opportunities come around, you take them when they come. That's the that's the rule here. But I would say if, you know, I, for, I can't speak about fiction books, but with nonfiction books, again, get it out on paper, and then look online, find, find agents. And if your idea and your words are good enough, then the agent will work with you, and, you know, before you know it, hopefully, you'll have a book published. Now, <clears throat> I will say this, uh, which I didn't know, is that when you go the route of getting a publisher to publish your book, basically their job stops there, right? So there's no publicity, there's no uh, commercials, there's no advertisements, all these things I didn't know about. So one of the ways to combat that is to do things like this, which is why I started this YouTube channel, Let's Talk About Sleep, which is you know the same title as, as the book. So, uh, so that's you know, be prepared for that. But that's that's how it goes. So, I, I think I think the key the key message here, though, and again, this this goes with with 
all things is you just you got to do it. You got to do it. That's the bottom line. You got to do it. So if you have an idea, go for it. And then from there, you know, when the doors open, you go after them. All right. So that's uh, that's my story. Hopefully, uh, hopefully inspire somebody there. You know, I'm getting back to sleep videos next time, I promise. But this is a little bit uh, veering off that topic. So if you have any questions about this or anything that we talk about or if there's something you want me to cover, whether it be sleep related or writing related or anything related, uh, just leave it in the comment section down below. And um, please like the channel, please subscribe, please subscribe, please share with your friends and family. And until next time, sleep well and write well.